Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today we're going to attach this to this. Stay tuned. So when it comes to attaching an arrowhead to a piece of wood, an arrow shaft, especially in a primitive uh, survival type situation, there's a few things that you can use, of course, to bind it on with. Uh, the first is natural sinew. And of course, this comes either from the back strap portion or the legs. It is the connective tissue uh, between the muscles. I just have a couple different pieces here. And then you can also, if you're not in a survival situation, you just want to practice or you don't have access to natural sinew, uh, you can buy artificial sinew, which is, I don't know how many yards come on this, but it's essentially the same uh, type. Uh, it kind of looks basically the same, but uh, it doesn't have the natural type glue that natural sinew has on it. And so we're going to demonstrate that here in just a little bit. Another item that we're going to be using is our survival glue that we made earlier this year. We've got a video on that and I'll try to put a link to it either up here or down below. But uh, anyway, it is uh, made from pine tar, pine resin basically, and some deer droppings along with charcoal. And I show you the proper mixture when we put it together and uh, we're going to be using it. Uh, out of this tin here to make our lashings more secure for our arrowhead. We have our small fire burning. Again, it uh, doesn't probably show in the screen, but it's about the size of your hat. And uh, I'm just letting it burn down to have some good coals. I don't want a large flame because the uh, survival natural glue that we made is highly flammable. So we just want some coals to slide the tin into and warm it up. Uh, so that we can uh, heat it up sufficiently to turn it back into a liquid state uh, so that we can attach our arrowhead. So we've got our fire going, we've got our arrowhead shaft that we straightened in previous video, and here is just a small bird uh, type arrowhead that I napped out a few months ago. And uh, we want to attach this, of course, onto our arrow and you get an idea what it's going to look like. So first thing we have to do is we have to use our knife and we're going to make a slot for our arrowhead to slide into and uh, then we can bind it all together. So we're going to use our knife for that and we're just simply going to start at the end. Put the arrowhead back in my pocket. I'm going to take our knife. You can do this with a saw but you have to be really, really careful uh, because we want to make sure that we get down in here and I may use my multi-tool a little bit just for a little bit of a saw point but we're gonna start right here in the edge and we're gonna get down into that and uh, once I get that done I'll get back with you we're just making sure this edge is nice and square all right just like that okay so what I'm actually doing is I took my sliding saw here and I just extended it out just a short ways and then turned this locking nut to lock in a position so I don't have a great big blade sticking out. And then I'm coming to an angle. I was going to use my multi-tool for this, but I uh, just decided this was a little bit better leverage. And you could do this with a sharper jagged rock, much like the Native Americans did to saw into this. But for me, I'm just starting at an angle like this and just pulling like this gently and uh, just making that cut, turning it over doing the other side and uh, just like this and then uh, I'll clean it up with my knife and check the fit with the arrowhead to see uh, how it's going. You can kind of see what we've got going on here working on our split. Okay so here we have our arrow shaft, we've got our small arrowhead that we napped out and we're just going to slide it in here and kind of push down. We don't want to split the stick we just want to make sure it's somewhat firm and uh, that's a really good fit. We've got just a little bit of the tail of the arrowhead sticking out here and that's exactly what we want. So now we're going to start working on our on our sinew and get it ready for mounting. Using our large piece of sinew here, all we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to peel off some of this and uh, again it, it tears pretty easy. And uh, what we're looking for are some of these smaller strands. Again, we don't need a huge amount of sinew for this. Uh, we don't want to add a huge amount of weight. And so we'll take a piece about like this and uh, we'll make sure, try to get it somewhat uniform. Might pull off a little bit of this 
Uh, again, we just want really small pieces. We're not looking for anything huge. And this is about a thread size. And we might go just a little bit bigger. We can split this one down in half. And uh, that will make a pretty good uh, wrap for what we're using. Find where it's naturally split. Just pull that off. Okay. That's pretty good. Right there. All right, now, to prepare this, what you do is you put it in your mouth and you chew it and your saliva helps to activate the natural adhesives that are found in this sinew. Now you don't want to over chew it. You don't want to keep your mouth for a long time. Just moisten it up, chew it just a little bit. You're not trying to bite through it. Uh, you just want to moisten it up a little bit. So. Again, the Native Americans, many Native cultures around the world, is exactly how they use and prepare the artificial sinew for thousands of years. All right. Now we have our, our natural sinew. It's chewed up. And uh, we're going to use this now on our arrow shaft to put our arrowhead on. So we've got to kind of pull it out where I got sort of mixed in with our saliva. But here we have a nice wet piece of sinew. So let's, uh, let's get working on that arrowhead. Okay, so coming here to our shaft, we're going to start here on the back side of this. And we're just going to wrap it around and uh, kind of keep that tight. Come in like this, a couple of wraps. Want to make sure that's nice and tight around this way. I'm going to come this way, around, this way, and around. Wrap that on there. And I'll get back with you when I get this done. All right, so went ahead and chewed another piece here. That one I had wasn't quite long enough for what I was looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap this a little bit more of this sinew. And I uh, want to make sure, of course, that it stays on here really well. And I'll go ahead and wrap this, as you can see, put some pressure on it. All right. There we go. let this dry make sure it's straight on the shaft and then uh, as soon as that's dried sufficiently we'll put some of our survival glue on there stay tuned and here we have our tin with our survival glue in it and it's warming up you can see it bubbling a little bit of smoke in the camera but uh, we're gonna get down there and put some of this pine pitch resin glue on our arrowhead and make it more secure. So the process is actually quite simple. And all we have to do is we take some of this liquid here and then we smear it onto the sinew and a little bit onto the arrow itself. Just like this. All right, so we're just taking this and we're putting it on here and letting it harden up. We're smearing it all the way around. We'll do that to the whole arrow. I'll get back with you and show you the next step. Okay, so we got our arrowhead mounted on with the sinew and then our survival glue. Now the last thing that we want to do is we want to take, want to heat this over the fire and kind of glass this uh, particular resin concoction here and we want to make it a little smoother so it's pretty. The other thing you want to make sure you do is make sure that your arrowhead is on there perfectly straight because once this dries it's a little more difficult to uh, straighten out on your shaft. So using leather glove that I always carry with me, I'll lift this tin off because it is very hot, set it to the side here and then all we're going to do over top of these coals, we're just going to take our arrowhead and right over the heat 
Now we don't want to uh, melt it. We just want it to rotate it just real slow right over these coals. And that will help to remelt just the surface. And it will help smooth it and glass it and make it a lot prettier. Not that we're ex extremely concerned about beauty here, but we want it to look nice. Most of all, we want it to fly right and stay on good when we shoot it. And that will also help protect the sinew from getting wet if you're ever in a, a rain situation. All right, so here we have it. And you can see it's uh, quite pretty. Looks really nice. And here we have our finished arrowhead along with the glue that we put it on and the sinew and uh, turned out pretty good and it's on there pretty straight so pretty happy with the way it turned out and the next project we're going to be doing is we got to put the fletching on here so that we can have a, an actual arrow. One other thing you can do in survival if you're traveling around and you don't have a tin to carry your pitch glue, your pitch pine glue in, uh, you can actually just put some around a stick like this and carry that with you in your kit and that will work really well. You can wrap it up in a, a leaf, a green leaf or perhaps some leather or a piece of cloth, anything that won't really stick to that of course eventually. If it does get too hot it will stick to it. Generally if you keep it cool uh, it gets nice and hard and uh, just like a, a glue but remember it is activated by heat and makes it liquid so you have to keep it from uh, being close to your fire and such like that. But that's a nice little tip. Just take a stick, carry it with you, and uh, wrap it in. You, you could, of course, put it in a Ziploc bag. Anything, like I said, that won't uh, stick to it and uh, put a bunch of debris and matter in it. So you would only want to use a green leaf. When the leaf dried out, we'd want to swap it out for another one because you wouldn't want a bunch of crumbly leaves in your kit. But just sort of a field expedient way to carry around your pitch pine. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. Please like, share, and subscribe. And make sure and press that bell button to stay notified of all of our upcoming videos, and we'll talk to you next time.